Good morning. I'm Joe Ben, the founder of Joby Aviation. I'm here at our electric flight base near Big Sur, California. I've been dreaming about vertical takeoff and landing aircraft since I was a boy. In 1993, I realized that with electric propulsion, my dream could take flight. But at that time, lithium ion batteries had not yet entered production. 15 years later, lithium batteries had evolved through multiple iterations driven by exploding demand for consumer electronics and lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide cells with good specific energy, specific power, and excellent lifetime were in development for the nascent electric vehicle industry. Against this backdrop, I founded Joby Aviation in 2009 with the goal of building an electric aircraft to replace ground transportation. An aircraft safe enough for your daily trips, quiet enough to land at your destination, and accessible to everyone. What I'm going to show you today is that aircraft. A few months ago, we shared a video of our aircraft taking off behind me. Today, we wanted to give another demonstration of just how quiet our aircraft is. This is a calibrated decibel meter, and over here behind me is our aircraft in hover. At 55 decibels, this is more than a thousand times quieter than a helicopter taking off at 90 decibels. As you can see and hear, it is not just quiet quantitatively, but also qualitatively, with noise that blends into the background. It is not the low frequency wop wop of a helicopter which travels for miles and penetrates buildings, nor is it the high frequency whine of a drone. Our goal was to mimic the character of natural sounds like the wind or the ocean. We hope that all of you will have an opportunity to come watch our aircraft fly in person. Until then, I hope that this helped to demonstrate just how hard we have worked to make this an aircraft that will be welcomed into your community. Now let's go take a look. This is a sibling aircraft to the one you saw sitting behind Paul, and it has been our workhorse, having undergone hundreds and hundreds of test flights since 2019. It is all electric with six tilting propellers. That means that each of the propellers is able to tilt from vertical takeoff position forward to a cruise position. This allows the aircraft to take off vertically before transitioning to forward flight like a conventional airplane supported by the wing. By the numbers, the aircraft has a normal cruise speed of 200 miles per hour, significantly faster than a helicopter, with a maximum range of 150 miles on a single charge. It has five seats, including a pilot in the front and four passengers sitting behind. And the all-electric powertrain delivers zero operating emissions. The enabling breakthrough technology that makes all of this possible is distributed electric propulsion, a core part of my realization in 1993. My idea that electric motors are vastly simpler, more reliable, and more scalable. So rather than a large centrally located combustion or turbine engine, instead we can distribute electric motors across the aircraft and place them in locations that deliver the greatest aerodynamic benefit. The result is an aircraft that is safe, quiet, and affordable. Each of these three foundational pillars of the design, safety, acoustics, and economics, is enabled by distributed electric propulsion. Now let's unpack each of these in a bit more detail, starting with safety. Safety is the most important element of an aircraft, and it's always been our North Star. Distributed electric propulsion allows us to build high levels of redundancy into the aircraft. We have six independent propellers running off four independent battery packs. If for any reason we experience a failure with one of the propeller stations, we can simply power down the diagonal station and continue nominal flight. We've actually gone one step further and engineered additional redundancy into the aircraft to make even that scenario as unlikely as possible. Powering each of the six propellers on the aircraft are two redundant motors, and each motor is powered by its own inverter, and each inverter is powered by a separate battery pack. Electric propulsion has allowed us to radically rethink every system on the aircraft to make it safer, lighter, and more reliable. From our redundant electrically actuated control surfaces, you will notice that we have six rudder and four ailerons, to our redundant sensing, redundant flight computers, and redundant communications, all designed and manufactured in-house. The bottom line is that there is protection upon protection guided by our North Star of safety. I would like to point out the locations of our four battery packs. We purposefully place them in the wings to keep them safely distanced from the passengers. 
We are now certifying our aircraft to prove to ourselves and the world that it is safe enough to fly everyone every day. Earlier, I touched on how hard we have worked to make our aircraft quiet. We believe that noise will largely define the success or failure of this industry. To be successful, we have to deliver customers as close to their destination as possible. This means regular flights in and out of built-up areas, which only works if the aircraft is really quiet. In addition to optimizing the aircraft design to be quiet and hover, we have designed it to be even quieter in cruise. The propellers spin at less than half the speed in cruise that they spin in hover. This means that the aircraft goes from quiet in hover to nearly silent in cruise. We've designed, built, and tested dozens of full-scale propeller designs over the years and modeled dozens more, capturing incremental learning and benefits along the way to get that natural sound profile that I mentioned earlier. This is one of the harder things to do in this sector. The last piece of the puzzle is making the aircraft efficient enough and cost-effective enough to operate so that we can make our service broadly affordable. Going all electric delivers massive savings in fuel cost relative to traditional aircraft. That's good for both the bottom line and for the environment. In addition, the simplicity of electric motors means significantly fewer moving parts, lower maintenance costs, and less downtime. We optimized the aircraft design for efficient operations. With a high wing and propellers, we have made it as convenient to get into and out of as an SUV, which minimizes the time spent loading and unloading the aircraft. Electric motors spin up and shut down in moments, saving many minutes on each flight. We designed the battery pack with fast charge capability to enable recharge while arriving passengers are unloaded and departing passengers are loaded. With the efficiency of our aircraft in hover and in cruise, we do not stress our battery cells and they reward us with incredible cycle life. In the lab, we have demonstrated more than 10,000 representative flight cycles while retaining excellent performance. The fuel savings, lower maintenance costs, high utilization rates, high block speed, efficient operations, and low depreciation enabled by distributed electric propulsion result in very positive unit economics, which our CFO, Matt Field, will talk about a little later on. Our goal is to launch our service at the price of a taxi with a virtuous cycle of technology improvements, increasing scale, increasing demand, and increasing utilization to drive the cost down over time to the cost of personal car ownership. Now let's go see how easy it is to pilot our aircraft in the flight simulator. Here we are in our flight test simulator. Behind me on the controls is Buddy Denham, one of our flight test pilots. Buddy was instrumental in the development of the unified control architecture employed on the F-35. Our aircraft is designed to be simple to operate, unlike the complex controls in a helicopter that require both your hands and your feet. We've invested a lot of effort and thought into designing unified controls for this aircraft. That means there is simply one directional controller, or inceptor, and one acceleration controller. When you have a chance to go on our simulator, you'll be able to see for yourself how simple the aircraft is for our pilots to control. With electric motors, you don't need to warm up the engines, just press a button and go. The left stick, or inceptor, controls the aircraft acceleration. The right stick controls our altitude, attitude, and direction. There are no rudder pedals for your feet, and if the pilot lets go entirely, the software is designed to keep the aircraft stable. If the pilot pushes the decelerate to hover shortcut button, the aircraft automatically brings itself into a hover over the target landing zone. What we're demonstrating here is that we've developed a system that makes the aircraft really easy to fly. If you try and do something unexpected, the system doesn't let that happen. By automatically managing various flight functions, we're able to materially reduce pilot workload, mitigate common failure scenarios, and leave the pilot free to focus on the mission. It has taken a tremendous amount of work from an incredible team to develop this system, but it is so vitally important to the overall safety of our operations and provides a great example of the advanced technologies and capabilities that we've been able to develop, test, and mature by being the first electric VTOL company. Thank you very much for taking the time to join us. We're so excited to share more about our technology and business over the rest of the day.